guys, in this video we're going to get sentiment scores for the three documents in our corpus and then uh, possibly also get some kind of overall sentiment scores by averaging them and uh, perhaps looking at some other graphics. So let's just remember what we were working with. We imported a corpus and cleaned it up. Uh, we had three documents in our corpus. They were three sports articles all on European football, soccer. Okay, So we have this as our basis. What, what, what else do we need here? We need a, a, a lexicon of positive and negative words. And I've included the links for each of those in the description section of this video. So you need to follow those links and copy and paste those um, terms into separate text documents, save them, uh, and then you need to import them. And this is how you would import them. Okay, okay so once they are saved as two separate documents, you can scan them both in. Make sure to call the one that's positive something positive, like I called it here, and the negative one something negative. Okay. So you scan them in, and, and once you have them in, you should have this many positive terms and this many negative. So what we want to see is how many of these words are positive, how many are negative per document in our corpus. So we're going to borrow, a, a, first off, we're going to need to split up our, our, our documents into a bag of words. Each document in the corpus needs to be a separate bag of words. So for example, here you see document one starts here and ends all the way at the right side, right? It goes beyond what we're seeing here. But I want to split this up instead of as one being one entity into a bag of words. So it would be split up into each of these words. Okay? And similarly, same thing for document two, a separate bag for that one. And then a third bag for the third document. Okay? So in order to do that, I use something from the string R package a function. So you need to install and load the string R package. Once you have that installed and loaded, we're going to split uh, corpus 2 wherever there is a space. Okay. And you see we get a bag of words. In fact, we get three bags of words. So you see this, unique Cristiano Ronaldo benefits, unique Cristiano Ronaldo benefits, etc. Okay. Uh, let's actually give this a name. Nothing special. Let's call it JJ. All right. So there's JJ. It's our bag of, or bags of words, one per document in our corpus. All right. Now with JJ, we're going to actually be able to now match the terms from the positive lexicon to our bags of words and the negative lexicon to our bags of words. So we use lapply because we're working with a list, clearly, if you look up here, right, there's a list, object one in the list, object two, element three, etc. Okay, so I'll apply to JJ. We're going to apply a function, which is just going to take one argument, and that argument is going to be fed by this. Oops. Okay, we're going to sum everywhere there is not a, an NA in the match function. <coughs> we're going to match x, which is jj, one, one document at a time. Two, let's do the positive words first. Close, close, close. If I end it here, I get the positive scores. So that 13 words in document one were matched to the positive words in that le positive lexicon. 30 in document 2, 6 in document 3. And we could simply just change one thing here and see how many negative words match to the negative lexicon. So 5, 11, 0. So we see overall our uh, 
documents in our corpus seem to be more positive than negative. The way we're going to get a sentiment score is to simply subtract the positive score and the negative score. So, the ne so here 13 minus 5 for document 1 is going to yield a score of 8. So this is our sentiment score for document 1. It's a positive number which indicates there's more positive words than negative words so we say it has a positive sentiment. Okay. If this was 15, we have a negative 3 here, we would say this article or this document is more negative than it is positive. It has a negative sentiment. And we're going to do that for each of the documents in our corpus. And so to do this kind of with R, we just need to kind of go back in the positive section here. Okay, close for the sum, close for the match, close for is that A? And then minus sum is an A match x opinion lexicon negative close 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 the function close the L apply okay and there's our three scores right just think about it here 13 minus 5 8 30 minus 11, 19. 6 minus 0, 6. Okay? And if I now unlist this, I can get this in a vector and I could start applying some kind of arithmetic to it. Okay, so I just used unlist to unlist it. So now I have a vector of, of numbers, of integers specifically. Okay? And now I can get, the, let's call this something, let's call this our score as in sentiment score. So here's scores. Um, now let's also maybe look at the average score. This is much more useful if I had hundreds if not thousands of documents. I could see what's the average sentiment in my corpus as opposed to just individual documents, which is also useful on a granular level. What's the variance or standard deviation? of my score. Again, much more useful if I have hundreds and thousands, if not thousands of documents. Let me plot a histogram. Again, histogram with three documents is not going to be too useful, but if I have hundreds and thousands, this histogram is going to really kind of let me know more about the story of the sentiment scores. Are they more, are, is it skewed to the right? Are most of the scores on a, on, a, on the higher end? And then you have a few negative articles. Is it the other way around? Are they mostly negative and then you have a few positive? Is it uniformly distributed? Are there scores both positive and negative and neutral around zero? And they're kind of evenly spread out. Um, so a histogram will be very useful for that. A box plot would be another useful tool here. But again, with just three documents in my corpus, um, it's easier to just look at the actual scores and maybe the average is also quite useful. All right. So you can easily now generalize this to thousands, hundreds and thousands of documents, whatever type of document you're dealing with, legal documents, tweets, uh, Facebook posts, uh, news articles, uh, journal articles, you name it, uh, Amazon reviews, whatever it might be, product reviews, you can apply this and see overall what is the attitude on, these, on this corpus, positive or negative. All right, so I hope this was helpful, and of course, remember to watch the previous videos. If any of this stuff seemed like it came out of nowhere, this actually was built up in, in the earlier parts in this text mining series and continue to come back for more progression in this line of text mining. Okay, till next time, subscribe, comment, share, and like, and have a great day.